I think a lot of people consider the constitutional coup and Mahindra Rajapaksa's uh, tilt at the premiership illegitimate. How would you, how did you see it? Well, it was Sirisena's move. It was right. coming for most of that year uh, from about January 2018. It happened late in 2018. But the discussions had been going on uh, and the best person to speak to that issue would be Tiran Alas because I believe he was one of the intermediaries, Tiran Alas, SB, Dissanayaka. So this was in the air. Now, this was nothing new or scandalous. They were using an old playbook. Um, but they got it wrong and I'll tell you why. Uh, the playbook was Chandrika's playbook. And again, I don't fault her because I was one of the people I was very close to, not on your list, but uh, is Lakshman Kadurgam. I worked very closely with Lakshman Kadurgam. Huh? And uh, he, when he was uh, chairman of the uh, Council of Management of the BCIS, he insisted that I join the Council of Management and so on and so forth. So, um, Lakshman Kadurgama was one of those instrumental in uh, what was considered to be the ouster of Prime Minister Rani Vikramasinghe in 2003. And he was uh, replaced by Mahinda Rajapaksa. That was Mahinda's first crack at being Prime Minister. Um, and then Chandrika went for a snap election in 2004, which he won. The reason was that Ranil uh, had adopted or had been persuaded to take a, an extreme cosmopolitan liberal line while the LTT was out there and signed the CFA, uh, which brought him head to head with the interests of the Sri Lankan state, as it were. And the, the president at that time, Chandrika, was later to be his partner, his political partner during. Uh, fired him. There, there was always too much of a gap between what the SLFP, even under its most liberal cosmopolitan leader, Chandrika, could uh, countenance and uh, the minimum that uh, Ranil and the UNP at that time, under heavy um, liberal, Colombo liberal influence, uh, was willing to settle for. That was the gap. So Chandrika fired him and then she had an election. Now, President Sirisena found himself in exactly the same situation. He went for exactly the same shot, you know, in cricketing terms. Now, I never agreed that it was a coup. The reason is they wanted to have an election. And if you take the court's verdict, it was not that Maitripala Sirisena firing Ranil was illegal. It, it was not that making Mahinda the Prime Minister as the head of a minority government illegal because Ranil himself had only 47 seats when he was made PM by President Sirisena in 2015. It was that they were going to dissolve parliament and, and declare they were going for elections. And they could not do that because the 19th amendment recollecting what happened in 2003-04 said you can't do that until you know four and, a, until four and a half years have lapsed. Now, whether that was wise or not, uh, I'd leave you to judge because right now we could do with a snap election. We could do with it, but we can't because um, Gotabe has to wait till March next year if he's to have an election legally, and that is having foreshortened. It's not the 19th Amendment. If it were the 19th Amendment, the election that uh, the opposition leader and the JVP seek so eagerly now could not be held right, yeah. until a four and a half year uh, period has elapsed. So, I would not call something a coup when what they wanted to do was have an election. Have an election. Okay.